Uh, Evan, just take us through the emotions of playing back to back, almost ten periods of hockey over the weekend, and uh, where you're at physically and mentally. Um, it was definitely something I've never really been a part of. The uh, four overtimes was uh, it's crazy. It was fun to be a part of, but is uh, you know a toll on the body. And I think uh, emotionally um, and as a team, I think uh, we took we took the day to recover, do the right things, and I think uh, we're ready to go for next game. Obviously, it wasn't the result you wanted in both of those games, but was it also just a, a physical and mental test on this group, and uh, knowing that you guys can come out of it uh, still with high spirits? Yeah, I think so. Um, especially the first game, you know, could have went uh, either way, chances either way, and in the. Uh, in the second game, it was a you know one goal game in the third period. We had our chances, and I think uh, you know if we if we bear down, then the game's gonna win either way. Have you ever played a part of a game where you play seven periods and one hockey game? <laughs> no, I've uh, never been a part of it. You know, you see it uh, happen maybe once in a while on TV, and you think it's pretty cool. So to be a part of it was uh, was awesome. Does that fatigue kind of carry over a little bit, or is it something that kind of goes away after one rest day? Uh, it kind of, you know, kind of carries over, but I think, uh, you know, you train for this in the summer all year for, for stuff like, uh, for stuff like that. And I think the rest day doing the right things really helped. Any other questions for me? Uh, what what is the, some of the difference between that the Colorado was doing, that, that the goals are doing, they're, they're kind of, you know, jamming you guys up, giving you, giving you guys some fits? Uh, yeah, I think we just have to really focus on what we want to do as a, as a team, put pucks on that. I think we had, uh, you know, I think 13 shots going into the third period or something like that. And I think, uh, you know, what he was talking about, we're, we're a team that likes to shoot the puck. And I don't think we really did that. But when we got, when we got going, doing the right things, putting pucks towards the net, then it, it really worked out for us. Because I had asked Jay the same question. He was talking about the checking. I guess, is it more physical out there? Would you say this series is more physical than the Colorado series? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, emotions roll high. It, like they said, they played this team, I think, 10 times in the regular season. So obviously there's a, a lot of emotions there. So it's definitely, uh, you know, a good series. What's the comfortability level kind of going on the road? I know you're kind of new here with the Condors and playing on the road. Um, the, the team's been successful in San Diego this year. Just what's the energy around the guys and knowing that you're going to be on the road for probably the two biggest games of the season so far? Yeah, everyone's excited for the games. Um, you know, they, they talked about uh, the road play there and how they were the, during the season. I think uh, we're comfortable playing there, and I think that's going to be important for us. You talked about this being an emotional series. Is it as much as a mental grind as it is physical? Yeah, especially after that first game, the, the seven periods, it takes a, a toll on you, like I said. But, um, you know, being prepared is, is one, one thing. You feel, you feel like maybe game three is somewhat of a must-win type of scenario? Uh, I wouldn't say a must-win. It's definitely a game that, that we'd like to win. Um, it's a game that I think we, we can win. Like I said, those two games could have won either way. So um, you know, as long as we, we put the puck in the net, bear down, and our chances will be fine. Uh, what do you make of the process for yourself and McLeod coming in, kind of needing that one day of adjustment, and then coming in and being able to contribute? And yeah, it was uh, you know good to get to uh, watch the first game coming in. I think it was good for him to to be able to see the pace of play, and I think uh, coming into the game, at least for me, it went well, and I think for him, it went uh, you know really well. He really showcased himself out there. Uh, talk about what you saw from McLeod on Saturday. He notched his first AHL assist, but uh, Jay Woodcroft says he has a defensive, co- defensive conscious and allows him to be effective on both sides of the puck. Yeah, you know he he knows where to be. He's a smart player. Um, he knows where to be. You know on the on the goal, doing the little things, stick lift, getting the puck out, um, getting it up to the point he started that play. So I think uh, you know he really really played well that game. You played against him in junior. What would you say is the toughest thing uh, defending uh, of Ryan McLeod? Uh, he's got great speed. His speed's something that uh, you know he showed really well in Saginaw throughout the year. Um, you know, and his his hands are also uh, something that uh, makes him decisive out there.